How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC, and today you guys are in my creepy dungeon workspace. Check this out. We're at the new place, guys. Let me give you a quick little look. I'm in the basement of the new place that we just moved into, and at least for now, this is going to be my new workspace and probably filming area, so the lighting is going to be horrible, but you guys are used to that. Guys, I want to do some updates. I want to explain what's going on, show you guys some gear. Let's get into it. So, uh, we moved, we're all settled in, took a couple days, but we're here. Um, I'm for the foreseeable future going to be working down in this basement of the place that we're living in. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. It's like a cave and I love spooky things. So. Um, this is where I'm going to be doing the leather work moving forward. Um, books are open again. I already have some stuff that I'm working on now for a couple people, but um, we are back up and rolling. So that's exciting. I want to show you guys what I've been carrying, talk a little bit about some of the gear that I've been testing because I got a lot of work in, especially with this knife in particular. With the move, lots of stuff to process, obviously, during a move. Um, I want to talk about this knife a little bit too because this is the one that I was originally carrying. But yeah, this is just going to be an update video. Um, okay, so during the move, I started out with this knife here. I was EDCing this. This is the BGM Knives Mini Javelin in Crewwear 62 to 63 HRC. Really thin stock. Very cool. Um, John uses a belt, as far as I'm concerned, for his edges, so they are convexed from him. That doesn't work for me, really, so I put my own edge on it, and that didn't really last that long either, to be honest. Like, it was sharp when I sharpened it. Um, got dull pretty quick. It wasn't really cutting anything after, like, a day, uh, so I had to strop it. It has a little bit of bite now, but I've noticed with knives that when they come with a pretty convex edge, sometimes sometimes it takes a few sharpenings to get that out, uh, to get down to like the good steel, it just depends. And I've noticed with John's knives in particular, I have to sharpen them like a solid four or five times before they really start performing for me. Um, it's just how it is. So this one I stropped, but like I said, it just, it's not, I think it just needs to like really be sharpened again. So there's that. It, nothing wrong with John's knives or knives that come with belt edges. They just, uh, I don't know, I think I've been spoiled with system edges or freehand edges from other makers and that's why these just, I just end up wanting to put my own edge on them really. Um, like a really good solid edge. Steve does his freehand edges on his knives and so when that one kind of crapped the bed I didn't have all of my sharpening stuff unpacked and everything yet so um I replaced the BGM with the Steve Kalari custom knives steadfast EDC this is the three inch blade I started EDCing this until I could sharpen that and it's like a whole different world guys like I said freehand edges or something done on a system is it can be very different than a belt edge okay also you have to remember very prone to burning the edge on when you're using a machine to create the edge right if you're using a a grinding wheel or a belt or whatever you can definitely uh create an edge but it might be fatigued from that heat buildup whereas with freehand or a system that's just not happening so this came at like a different level of sharpness like you touch paper and it just melts so this is the knife that i carried uh when we were unpacking breaking down boxes opening boxes you know opening packaging for all of the new stuff for the house and this is just insane this is 4v at 66.5 HRC and this is one of the knives that I brought to process that deer the other week it came out unscathed and still just you can probably hear it 
you touch the edge and it's like crispy freaking sharp. This knife is absolutely incredible. I'm loving using it so far. Very comfortable in hand, just a really good actual knife. I love the way Steve does these handles. I've never really seen a handle like this before. Just the way that he configures the design, it's so comfortable. It's definitely getting some patina on the scales from using it. Really, really cool. This is just such a comfortable blade to use. Super freaking slicey. It's, uh, I think, 12.5 DPS. Um, just crazy, crazy thin. So really enjoying this one, guys. That's what I've been carrying lately, and that's what's on my belt today. And then I just want to show you what I've had for my traditional knife. So I carry one of these every single day. This is more of like my food prep knife. And is it necessary? No, but it's fun. Um, it's been necessary in the past for me because I've never really had like a kitchen. Uh, and I've never had like kitchen cutlery to work with or anything. So I've always just used my pocket knife. But now that I have a kitchen that I can like prepare food in, and I have kitchen knives. Um, I don't necessarily need this, but because I'm a knife nut, I carry it. I use it. It's just fun. I am carrying it in a slip that I made, the Slater Leatherworks Carrot. This is Wicked and Craig Carrot Leather, 4.5 to 5 ounce. This is one of my best selling slips, and this is hot stuffed leather, so they impregnate it with waxes and oils and tallow and you basically you basically don't have to condition this you don't have to do anything to it um as time goes on and this you know forms to things in your pocket and breaks in and those pores open up it just continuously releases those oils and tallows and waxes to self uh preserve it self condition it i guess so a very cool leather I'm carrying this because it is October. I love Halloween. I love spooky things. I love fall. And I just thought it would be fun to carry something Halloween themed uh, for the foreseeable future. But Slater Leatherworks Carrot, you can purchase one of these from me if you want. Very cool. And inside I have my GEC Cody Scout, which had a lot of teeners on it, but I ended up cleaning them off. And we're kind of doing a restart, which you can see it's Definitely coming back. Burlap micarta, very cool. Like I said, necessary, no, but fun, absolutely. And I like testing my own stuff too, just to make sure it's gonna hold up for customers. It obviously is breaking in really nicely. So um, that's the traditional knife for today. But um, yeah, I'm working on some stuff for a few people right now. I have another knife with a rehandle recover i guess you could call it that'll be here i think saturday i sent josh from knife guy mods a knife of mine from john at bgm knives i sent him my mini spade i had him redo the handles on it it turned out incredibly cool i won't spoil what he did with the handle i will show you guys when it gets here but it is very cool um i've just noticed that for me um i Let's see. The, these handles are comfortable and cool. I just lately have been really liking like a handle like this, I guess, with pins and not the rock pattern and just more, I don't know, more comfortable, I guess. I don't know. Um, I have a number of knives like this and I just, they're okay. But the way that Josh does the handles and makes them more like comfy, I guess, is really my jam lately. And this is just what happens with me. I go through these weird phases in the knife hobby of like hyper focusing on things that I enjoy. And then I find a new one. And I don't know, I think it's just part of the hobby. So it, sometimes it's modding blades. Sometimes it's modding the handle. Sometimes it's leather work. Sometimes it's GECs, sometimes it's fixed blades, it, just, it changes. Uh, I think we're all a little crazy with that. So my new hyper focus, I guess, is redoing 
handles on knives that I want to look and feel better, I guess, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, and Josh is really freaking good at it. And I've noticed too that sometimes I'll get a knife and I just don't bond with it right away. And my mind immediately goes to getting rid of it. But I lately I've been stopping myself and being like, okay, what is it that I actually don't um, appreciate about the knife? Is it something that I can change or is it genuinely the whole knife and I want to just get rid of the whole thing? And I've noticed lately that at first I jump to the conclusion of disliking it, but then I realize it's generally like aesthetics. So I've realized that sometimes I can literally just um, take a knife that I'm, I don't bond with, have someone redo the handles on it, maybe change the ergonomics, uh, change the colors, change s other things about it, and then I fall in love with the knife once it's more like me, I guess. So just something I've noticed lately. Maybe something to think about because I don't know what's going on lately, but on Instagram at least, everyone's selling everything. Like everyone's selling their knives, getting rid of everything. And um, some people just say that they don't they don't need that many knives, but a lot of people are saying that they just don't like certain knives that they have. And it's like, well, what what exactly don't you like about it? Because um, sometimes it's just as simple as a, a handle needing a different look or a different feel, and then you like it. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because that is an option. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. Um, I don't I don't think so. This is kind of just an update video. I'm waiting to pick up the rest of my like knife testing stuff from the old place that way we can get back into the actual knife testing videos i have a huge yard to utilize now fire pit um a whole bunch of you know ideas that i have for testing knives on the channel i just don't have the materials to do that so we will get back into that hopefully very very soon but i figured i would pop in and say hi to you guys and um, give you a quick little update. Also, I appreciate all of you for uh, the prayers, the the wishes, the good vibes, um, people literally helping us move, all of the things. You guys have been so, so amazing. People sending stuff in. Um, you all know who you are and thank you so much for being so supportive during this time. It was a very kind of like spur of the moment rushed move and it was very stressful and the amount of people that have been super helpful and reached out and just supportive thank you guys so much i really do appreciate you guys endlessly i'm so grateful for all of you but i think that's it for today i will see you guys on the next video please check out both of these makers check out Steve Kalari from Kalari Custom Knives. He does incredible high performance blades at a great reasonable price. Also check out John from BGM Knives. He makes some really awesome blades. These are, I, I will say this, John's knives, they are for use. They are made to be used. And I, and I have noticed, at least with myself, I have a much easier time using his knives uh because they are they're utility blades they're not fancy they don't have damascus they don't have pretty mosaic pins they don't have anything fancy at all like they're literally just to be used so if you're one of those people trying to transition into use your shit and trying to use your knives john's knives are a great um you know dipping your toes into the water type deal because they are very utilitarian, they're very basic, they're very, it's kind of hard to mess one of these up. So it's easy to use it because you're not afraid to break it, you're not afraid to make it uh, dingy and dirty and gross because it just clearly is meant to be used. So um, I do really like that about his blades. They This is one that like I will just use for dirty jobs, use for anything and not give a crap because it, basically asks for it. So uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. I love you so much. Thank you all for the support and the good vibes. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. I will see you guys on the next video. I love you so, so much. Take care.